Hi friends, welcome to the Vectorize. This is Jonathan. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And as you guys can see here, this is my new studio, okay? And this time I've just cleaned up more my my studio. I'm not having here a lot of things, you know, just me and the, <laughs> the microphone and a backlight here, as you guys can see. And of course, I can show you more behind the screen. So I suggest you to follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me yet and uh, i can show you more behind the screen the things that i did here uh, before that i was living with my mom i don't know if you guys know me but i, I hope that most of you here i think you know me from uh, others videos and I i'm so excited to show you and everything you know and uh, you are with me i hope so because you will be able to learn a lot of illustrations techniques uh, let me know if it's working okay the live stream with the shot the audio if it's good Please let me know on the chat and let me read uh, here, here what you guys are saying on the chat. Okay, let me remove my glass. Okay. Hello, Ariadna Tarcisio. Uh, Carmen, hello, Carmen. Vela, Damon F, Daniel Bovington, Tick, Peter Dest, Angela. Hello, Angela. Dynax, uh, Place Key, hello, Paul. Hello, Paul, my friend. Aileen, hello. Uh, Gilbert, hello, my friend. And Sarah, hello Sarah, <laughs> guys, thanks so much. I'm, I'm quite tired, you know, with all the things that I've been doing here on my, my home. But I, I want to deliver, as always, the best content ever. And uh, look, let me show you behind a little bit the screen, uh, you know, the, the desk here. Let me open in just a sec, okay. And uh, yeah, let me show you my screen. This is the vectorize that we're gonna do today, all right, my friends? Vectorizing. And look. Uh, the lesson about today is gonna be about toilet paper. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but let's make things simple. You know me, I like to make things very simple in order to help you that are very beginner. And we're gonna create and add life to this design here, okay? I, I got this reference because I want to, to give you an insight about different kind of perspective. Because if you are very beginner, perhaps if you try to create this object, you will start by creating, ah, let me open here this app that I use for, to show you, you know, where I, my cursor is, okay? I hope that you can see now. But if we start already to create this shape, perhaps in 2D, it's gonna be just like that. It's gonna be just this square here, okay? But of course, if you add a gradient, you can add a bit more life. Oh, just a few steps, I'm show you, you know, how a cylinder, cylinder works. So, can you see? Okay. Uh, and basically, this is uh, just a small example, right? If you add in 2D. But if you uh, plan to add a bit of perspective, you can be able to, um, to give more life to our design. All right. It's important. It's very important. And I have a uh, guy here that I use for reference the cube, <laughs> the cube one. Let me show you. This guy. And can you see? Uh, if you are seeing just in one side, it's gonna be 2D, one side, 2D. If you just change a little bit the perspective, the angle, all right, you can see the sides. And it's very important, I always like to remind you because it's not just about the vector, it's not just about uh, uh, the vector process, the paint tool, no. You need to understand the essence of drawing uh, in perspective. Okay, and in order to explain even more, that's why I'm showing you what you're gonna learn, all right? Uh, about the styles. Let's suppose that you want to combine this toilet paper with a kind of art style. It can be from Simpson, uh, America, America. I don't know <laughs> this cartoon here, to be honest with you. Some of them I know, this one I know. I think you guys are familiar with, with some of them. Uh, Minecraft here, <laughs> can you see? And if you have kids, uh, I think that they play a lot Minecraft. So. When, when you are creating a design, what is important to understand, it's your audience, all right? It's one of the first tips that I want to give you right now. Grab a note and place on there. Because it's not just, as I like to say, not just vector, my friend. You need to understand why you, you want to get your art, you know, uh, uh, in the end product. You need to think like a product. Your illustration is a product that other people will see, okay? I hope that is very clear. And here I have just this example right, that I got from the internet. And look, the Yu-Gi-Oh, how nice it is, the eyes. 
and how they change a lot the shapes the forms and also the the shadows the light as well okay and that's why the jump principle is here to help you to understand even more okay we have the shape colors and details and this principle that i like to show you my principles that you can join oh it's not picture anymore right it's vectorize club let me type here in case you don't know vectorize club.com okay this one <laughs> i need to update this template but this is our new website in case you want to learn even more uh, people that are from the vectorize club uh, are here and i want to thank you guys so much for support everything and in case you want to join on the vectorize club this is the new website we are not using patreon anymore i like to remember always in case you have been you know uh let's say not missing the live stream let's say and here you get access to our all of our contents i will be uh, posting more content soon a mini course that is gonna be very great okay all right so let's get started here okay my friends one thing that is important to understand as well is this let's put that you want to design this toilet paper and okay we have also emotions you can try to blend these three elements the first one is the object which kind of object is gonna be the toilet this object or this object okay so let's suppose that I want to create our character I, I don't want to create a very comic you know too complex because you know I don't like to get very uh, complex um, and take a lot of your time here during this live streaming but let's suppose that we do something very in this way a simplified one this one can you see a few lines just a circle I really like this one because we can do fast this one here as well uh, with more simplification less details we we have all right so it's important that, uh, which one do you think that is more complex here to draw which one tell me on the chat already okay you can tell me in the chat uh, in my perspective the realistic one are more not not difficult not not it's not difficult but it's more complex because of the details you can see here that we have more elements to draw okay it takes more time but this doesn't mean that the simplified one is easy to draw not at all this is not what i mean what i mean is this uh, less is more but if you want to create a realistic you need to add a lot of details and perhaps you're gonna spend more time okay I hope this is very clear tell me in the chat comment on the chat if it's clear enough and if I can progress on here okay so I don't want to take a lot of your time as, as usual yeah the Disney uh, uh, really great Vela the Disney one is a bit more let's say complex you know because the shape needs to be very carefully done okay the shapes can, needs to be very carefully done very soft it, it's difficult you know to match this art style all right so let's get started here I want to first of all I want to grab the essence of the sketch I like to start always with the sketch my friends because I want to understand understand what I want to do uh, and I will I will just grab here my sketch from the vectorize okay vectorize club this one is fine I like to start with this one this very simple one and then I will create a pixel layer I hope that you can see that I'm creating a pixel layer if it's not I will just um, apply here here below and that's it okay here in this icon all right you you can see that I click it here in order to create a new layer the pixel layer is not vector okay and then look grab the essence here I have a circle and a square okay a circle and a square I will draw look I have a, just a big a bit of delay here because that I'm recording and let me see here what's happening ah, there is a donate. Ah, this one okay it's working now look I am drawing this angle for now can you see and then I need to follow this I can I'll look great like that and then I can can you see my friends I like to ask you always watch my streaming because I always like to give you a lot of tips and this is a toilet in perspective and I can add here a circle okay I can add here a small circle and then you can for example you can blend more a little bit of let's say of shading in order to, why I'm adding shading right here it's because it's important 
it's very important to I mean just apply this one oh, this one's fine for now oh, can you see uh, the shadings is important in order to have an idea about the the shadows and lights okay oh look I'm just giving here a small shading just try to add in one direction all right and let me just apply here and I will raise a little bit and the razor is your friend okay like me I'm your friend and the razor is your friend as well and add here a light and light here and then oh, I have this just a small sketch a sketch is supposed to be simple and just to understand where are you know the forms can you see I, I'm ah, this time I'm using uh, the pencil right <laughs> I'm not using mouse <laughs> for drawing but as I said you can vector using you know uh, this mouse here I use this one <laughs> okay all right so let's add another another toilet here oh, I have the first one this time I'm gonna create faster well I can do in this perspective here first start with a circle and then okay I have this one my friend really this is the best exercise ever that you can do really just try to do later right and send me on Instagram or whatever you want oh look I have this one and I can add look uh, I'm doing this from my imagination already oh I can do this okay I'm doing at the same layer but you can in case you, you are just drawing like I'm doing um, you can do this I press L that is the freehand selector tool and slice this okay you will just let's say I cut this one and paste again why I did this because I want to separate this sketch from this one now it's a separate layer all right my friend this is the vectorize my friend here I show you you know everything yeah it's just awesome okay I have this one and I can also add I'm not going to add face right now I'm just creating uh, let's say the form okay I'm not adding right now neither the art style I'm just trying to understand the forms here as I said remember about the jump principle my friends I'm creating here the shape okay the shape only the shape no details at all details uh, you can think in small elements eyes eyes brow lips everything that is small you can think like uh, details let me open here macro and micro macro is biggest and mic micro is le uh, the small ones the small ones leave it to always later the biggest one always start first okay I hope that this is very clear leave the like that is very important for the channel and YouTube will understand that this is a good channel <laughs> okay. all right my friend let's get started right here this one I'm making the concept yet I'm just uh, applying here oh, a bit of shading it's fine oh, look my friend oh, how simple it is Oh, just a small shading a shadow here why shadow is important because it's create a contrast can you see I'm adding more contrast contrast what is contrast if you ask me contrast is this it is a color that will get different from another one all right so if it is 100% black and this is gray and this is let's put that this is white okay let's put that this is white um, the difference between them will create a contrast all right it's a contrast and it's the same way that I'm doing here use the shadows in order to create contrast okay my friend I hope this is very clear really over the top I will create another circle oh, I'm creating here already I don't need to rotate <laughs> to be honest I can no, draw like I'm doing here it's fine okay now I will, I will do the face I will, I will stick with this one all right if it's clear I, I like this one I really like and then I will add a face but I will add here a face oh, I can add here this is a very standard face that I usually do for my designs okay I can add uh, here a leg oh, just like this you know I can do something like that all right and let me uh, take advantage of this lesson and for example you can make something with big eyes I mean Add here a guy and oh look I'm adding another one <laughs> this is very fun look I can make some tips here look 
when I'm creating this, this thing from my head is the most I'm ever. With more you draw, more you practice, more it's gonna be easier, all right? So if you have a problem about, hey, I don't have the ideas, I don't have creativity, it's because you don't have time or you don't have practice a lot. Okay, practice is your friend, like I, mean, I am. Hello? Hello, Otavio, Pablo Otavio. Hello, my friend. Oh, look, I can just add this one. I can add uh, a tongue here, uh, look. <laughs> so be crazy, uh, try to create, let's say, be creative, okay? Don't worry too much about, hey, it is l ugly. No, have accident is your friend. Let me try to apply just a small blend on here in order to, to match with the thing that I'm creating. Okay. Uh, look, <laughs> this, this one here is more, uh, let's say, mad. This one here is more happy and chill out. And this one here, I can, let, let me do this already, okay? Just for now. This one can be, let's suppose, boring. Like boring or boring eyes. Oh. Like, uh, okay. Like boring. Okay. And we can, uh, if you want, of course, you can add a piece of you know, <laughs> a pop here if you want. <laughs> Just to give you an idea about what you can do, all right? Uh, yeah. My friend, be creative, all right? And about the emotions, let me give you this very nice device. My friend, this is. This is Vectorize, my friend. Vectorize. Let me show you uh, some nice device because I want to show you this. Emotions. Emotions, it will, it will give you a feeling in your design. This one, if I ask you what kind of feeling you can see here. I, I'd say it's more annoyed, okay? You can add angry, you can add, uh, I don't know how it is, broody, a bored, it can be bored, curious, con this is a, a comic version, it's not realistic. If you want to see realistic, we have here this one, because it's important to see the two different perspectives of the world. Look, uh, grab here, you need to see the real references from real people and also from the comic ones because you create a relationship between them, all right? And if you if you create this, uh, let's say, um, similarity, this connection, things will become easier to create from your head, okay? Don't try to just, just to copy uh, this one, all right? Do not just copy, you need to understand also the, the human anatomy, all right? So it's important to understand. Oh, this one, can you see? Like tedious. Um, eyes over the top and the mouth shape is everything related to the shape okay and this one oh, I I haven't done okay this one I got from the internet just to let you know all right annoyed you can see uh, looking at the um, opposite uh, direction and the mouth down my friend is is awesome I hope this makes sense please let me know on the shot <laughs> all right so I, I will keep with my ones, all right? But th this is just an idea. Oh, I can make he, uh, he like he's crying. Okay, uh, look, the mouth this way, oh, I will do this. In this one, let me just duplicate to make backups. So I have two, two of them. I always make backups. Do not erase and you know, lost what you did so far. And then I will just erase here, uh, erasing. And I will make a version of him crying. Oh, this one. Oh, mouth down, eyes down, everything, you know, like sad, sadness. So the shape will be more like this. Oh, look, the mouth sad. And the eyes, oh, look, like sad, sadness. You can see the lines here. I hope that you can see the lines. Oh, the arrows getting down like sadness. If he's angry, probably he's gonna be something more sharp, okay? Uh, I can add the eyebrows, I can add some tears right here, uh, okay? And I can add the tips. Oh, look, I've just changed here the emotions in few steps, okay? It's just, uh, I, I give you much more than vectorized lessons, my friend. You know me, I give you a very deep uh, lessons. And 
I'm, I, you know me. So if you if you if you like and enjoy my lessons, please join on the Vectorize Club. It's very important to the progress and to all the things that I build on here. Okay, it's very important. Okay, so I have three these three guys here. Uh, four actually. <laughs> this one. Oh, look. Which one do you guys like most? <laughs> I need to vector before I go, of course. I, I cannot leave you without the vectorized process. So I have this concept art. Which one you guys want to see me doing? Of course, uh, we're gonna have a, a lot of discussion here over the chat because we have four options. But I'm considering personally, to be honest with you, I'm thinking about to create, look, I'm thinking about to create the first one. What do you guys think? Tell me on the chat, it's gonna be important to know which one you guys like. A friend is the vector, right? Let me drink my water here. This meanwhile, please. I need to, to drink. The second. Uh, the second one, the second is very simple. I want to make uh, perhaps the first, the, the this one, the the three, third, actually third, or the four. <clears throat> oh, look you guys, let me show you a very nice reference if you are lost in your ideas, in case you are facing problems with your creativity. This one, uh, Inside Out, I guess, the, this move here is just awesome, really. Let me show you. This one is a very perfect reference about emotions, how you can give a life in your design. Can you see the emotions? Okay, we have happiness, we have uh, joy, I guess, joy, yeah, uh, angry, fear, and my friend, if you want to be very good at illustrations and storytelling, even graphic design stuff, you need to look at the, these movies, the Disney movies, it's just awesome. Look, angry and disgusting, uh, joy and sadness and fear, all right? This is the best reference ever, really. This is the best reference. And basically here, I've created four of them. <laughs> Joy, <laughs> hello Peter, my friend. We can do this, uh, <laughs> indeed. Let me try to do this right away. Okay, so on the Vectorize Club, I will try to uh, hold a dice here, let's see. Let's see which one. I hope uh, between one and four, my friend, let's see. Two, 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 two. My gosh, stop here, okay. The first one, <laughs> okay, perfect. The first one won. Thank you, Peter, for your amazing suggestion, my friend. <laughs> okay, my friend, let's get started with this one. This was very fun, nice, nice suggestion. Okay, the first one won here. It's very fun, look. I will get this one right now done here. My friend, look at this, how fast we'll be after you define your idea. First thing, you can add with the paint tool or the circle using the geometric shapes, but I will start here with the paint tool. You see, I, you have ton of ways to do with the vector, okay? Okay, first, let me set up here the paint tool. Oh, I'm using this one, and I'll make this as, as white, a little bit white with line art here, okay? This will be the setup that I did. After that, it's time to get into the vectorize. Um, Reduce the opacity, create a vector layer below of the pixel. You can name the, the sketch, you can give here a name, a sketch, all right? And also you can give a color in order to make your project organized. I will make this as blue. It's blue, that means, hey, this is a sketch. And now I will just use the paint tool and I will make these shapes here. Boom, 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 boom. Right, I have the first shape in 2D. Then I will just make this and boom, use the node tool. And then the paint tool here again, following the same curve, all right, uh, here, boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 and boom. There we go, I have the shape already done successfully. If you try to draw this line art or on Procreate or Photoshop, you will struggle a lot, okay? I do this very fast. So I suggest you to start to use Affinity Design with me if you want to, to have a great progress and you know speed in your product, okay? If you want to do this like I do. Okay, my friend. Oh, look, I can adjust here the curves. There you go, it's fine for me now. 
and I can make these sh shapes here more a bit more rounded. How we can manage this? Let me just add a little bit more rounded shape. There we go. Here as well. Oh, can you see how simple it is? Okay, so look, I have the first shape created. What is this? If you call me, if you ask me, all right. This is the oh, look the silhouette. The silhouette is the one of the let's say primary uh, ways to see the form. Okay, if I ask it for a, you know, a kid, hey kid, what is the shape? Perhaps uh, they will you know <laughs> make it correct, I guess. All right, so I have the shape. Let me back here with the white color, and there you go. And now it's time to add depth and the form. You can use by circle. Can you see? I'm adding with ellipse, ellipse, add a circle, rotate, uh, rotate the circle. And apply here very on the middle on the top there you go remember you need to match all the corners to not you know look here you need to make this very well aligned all right oh look is it is it's straight all right it's straight it's vector here my friend oh look and I'm open here just to see if it's straight enough these are a kind of adjustment that is very important there you go oh look Boom, 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 my friend is the vector, right? Look at this. And then I need to add a hole here. You don't need to draw again. My friend, don't lose your time. Stop losing your time. Come on, all right? Don't lose your time. Duplicate. Your time is precious. I'll reduce and make a color different. All right? Cool, right? And then I will change this a little bit, the perspective. You can change here the perspective to make it nicer. Ah, look, I have... Oh. Also, we need to understand, this is of course the reference, and you can see we have volume here. You can add a volume. How? Pay attention to this because it's very important. It's very important. Uh, I'll duplicate, duplicate, and then you can bring this inside of the shape below. There you go, can you see? Duplicate again, duplicate again. There you go. I, I've, I've just added here a bit of volume. And then I will add the eyes. Oh, look how simple it is. Which shape is this eyes? It, it is circle. Okay, okay, circle. And then add the circle here over the top here. Okay, make the eyes the feel. There is a feel. This is the feel. This first one, feel. Make it white. You can create a symbol if you want in order to, let's say, make uh, in two ways. Look, duplicate here, duplicate again. Oh, this guy here this this curve there is ellipse here okay like this duplicate resize make it dark duplicate resize make it white this is my art style this is how i do my designs okay and there you go i have eyes here all right this is one art style that i'm creating right now but we can make different art styles so stay with me to define is very important for your privacy okay uh, look there you go and add the mouth the mouth how you can add the mouth look circle Add another circle outside of the symbol, right? Outside of the symbol. If you look, if you add a symbol, let's suppose that you add a shape inside of the symbol shape, it's gonna create, let's say, um, a clone, okay, like a clone. And it's how it works. Let me show you in a very exp well explained example. I have this one. If I change this, it's gonna change another, okay? Because it's inside of this symbol. I know that most of you are, you know, let's say my vectorized club are very advanced people because they know my tutorials. I know, but as, as I like to say, I like to teach to teach everybody mainly for beginners. So I don't want to rush in my. Oh look, I don't like to rush here and make people that are very beginner lost. And it's important for you if, if you have a bit of patience and stay with me and, you know, um, yeah, stay with me. <laughs> okay. And let's keep here, my friend. Oh, look, I will add oh, this shape and convert to pi. And then I can just change here. Can you see? I have an orange point and then you can do this. A pi is sliced. There we go. Oh, adding the mouth. Can add a stroke here. There you go. And then I can add also. I can add this this diffs here. Can you see? It's not. Let's say it's not inside. My friend, I use this a lot. 
this thing about insert inside. So you can insert inside or you can just drag and drop inside of the curve. There you go, look. At this point, I don't need anymore my, let's say, my sketch. Sketch is just to have idea, it's not the final version. Like I said, you know, the previous live streaming, vector is a rendering process, is not the final. Oh, sorry. Um, vector is a render process. Sketch is not the final process. Sketch is the error process, okay? This is the, the concept that I want to give you. I'll make this as black, there, there you go. And then I can add uh, a tongue here. Remember about this, about this reference, okay? I can add a tongue and make this as red, a little bit as red. There you go. Boom, 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 my friend, look at this. <laughs> Look, I'm just in the form here like I'm modeling. My friend, the, the vector is a puzzle where you just model the things, the objects. You don't need to have master of drawing skills. Look, my sketch is not very good. <laughs> it's just some lines. All right, and there you go. Look, I will close this curve. There you go. I will add this here below, like that. And then I can make this form here a little bit better. There you go. Uh, can you see, we have a very flat colors applied on here. I could keep it like that if it's just a doodling. All right. It could be only, oh, let me just group them. Can you see, I have all the layers in this, in this panel. They are not organized because I need to group them. Keep them selected and then click here at the top and group, there you go. Now it's grouped. I can call here this layer as toilet paper. Okay, so, oh look, it's not ready yet. Okay, so just show you uh, what what you can do. Let me just open it again, because I got a bug. All right, so, about the face, I can group this and I can also change. Look, I can change the size. This is why I love to create you know, things in this way because it will keep the quality, you can change the, the size, it will keep everything. It's just amazing, all right? And okay, so the next step, if you look at my John principles, we did the shape, the silhouette, the, or the colors. Yeah, the colors, it was done you know, uh, alongside with the vector because it is a very simple process for this one. But we can start to add values, light and shadows. And in case you were wondering about the values, my friend, it's this. I will apply this because I want to show you, really, a full process. I don't want to leave you with questions in the end of this lesson, you know me. Uh, color. Values, it is these ones. We have the white, the black, the gray, and this is the values. Okay. You can use the principle here, the values principle that I'm teaching you right now and apply in your design. You can have options to add your values. Can you see that I did this style with outline? We have an outline here that can be controlled by, by here with the stroke panel. I can just add here and even remove if I want. But can you see if I remove, let me change it here this background color just to show you what, what's gonna happen here, okay? No, I will just apply this color for now. I think the internet got down here. It's buffering. Okay, could go. Let me see here, my friend, if he's working back. The live stream, my friend, let me know if he's working now, okay? I think we got we got a small connection here. I don't know why. Let me know in the chat. Okay. Can I keep? All right. So <laughs> let's try to finish this as soon as possible. Of course, uh, for me, uh, I would stay here all the day, but we need to, to respect all the people time. And I really appreciate your time to dedicate here and learn with my techniques. All right, so continue here with the gradient, my friends. The gradient I'm applying here because I don't want to keep this as a flat, uh, a flat shape. Okay, so I'm applying here just a small shading. Okay, I'll look. 
and then this one here as well will will follow all right will follow the the color of the gradient you see you see right oh remember about this shape i will just apply a little bit i can do this look how amazing it is very simple all right uh, i like I like to hit here because the light is in this direction. Okay. And uh, this is what's happening. And the line is here in the middle. I want to make this soft. You can use my friend. Let me show you. You can switch to the vectorized brushes. The master vector brush is here. All right. I look. Master vector brush that you can get on my Grunode is the best the brushes for a fin designer on the internet i'm sure i'm very 100 percent sure about that and i will just click here and switch the, to this ones and i can change here okay the gradient and there we go and i've just applied here in all of them a little bit of gradient a soft gradient can you see i have here now a very nice um effect okay so one thing that i want to add here is the lines Okay, because this is a toilet paper and we have papers, <laughs> all right. Okay, so duplicate this one and just reduce the size and apply a little bit of width and then I will change this to make a little bit more, let's say, gray. Because I don't want to make this very strong, it's very soft. Duplicate, 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 blah, 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 blah. there you go. But one thing that is very important it needs to follow, you know, this alignment that is over the top, all right? So let me back here a little bit. And when I do this, I'll duplicate, and then you need to change a little bit manually, okay? I'll duplicate, duplicate, and change a little bit manually here. There you go. Oh. There you go. It's not going to look like perfect circle, but this is a nice example about this one, okay? I look, I have some lines over here and then I can group all of these shapes I, I do this okay I like to do this there you go uh, and then I will just apply this one uh, this one this color here it's fine for now okay about the character's eyes can you see that this outline is not matching very well with the gradient that I, we have applied here but you can decide if you want to have the stroke, like, you know, doodling, if, if you want, it's up to you. Or if you want to make a different style, it's just with few clicks, you can change everything. Okay. Yeah, perhaps the contour tool uh, would work, to be honest, but I don't like to use this tool. I don't use a lot. Uh, I feel like it is overcomplicated for beginners to use that one, but uh, you need to, anyway, you need to use to duplicate the shape in order to get this effect, you know, these circles here. Okay, so let me try to make uh, this more, a bit more clean without the lines and just change here the style a little bit. Okay. And then I'll start to make the shadings with the master vector brush right now. I'll grab this one and then I will just add below of the eyes a bit of shading below, below of the eyes so select behind and i'll change this color a little bit you can grab from the color picker a little bit okay and there you go look boom and this is the vectorized process i really like to do it in this way press b vector brush and select the master vector brush that is called let me open here and you see the master vector brush I'm using the, the candy master, you can use the candy master or the join angry if you want. Okay. Again, I like to remember people that you can use your personal brushes, anything. This is my art style, okay. Hello, Rodrigo Ferreira. Welcome, my friend. Oh, look, I can add these effects here. A bit of shadow here below. All right, I'll look, and here, here below. In this, in these tips, I can add also a little bit of shadings. Okay, let's add just a small shade over here. Oops. 
I don't want to make it very realistic. I could add a bit of perspective, but in that situation, I'm just adding uh, this color here for now. And then I can add a shading inside of these tips here. Insert inside here the top, all right? Insert inside, and then you can draw the shadows. Uh, select the shape, insert inside, and draw. Select the shape, insert inside, and draw. There you go. I got this result here, okay? Can you see? Okay, and then I want to add a highlight in this in this side here, right? You see. Uh, you can uh, can you see that I have this color with my master vector brush. I will just add a white color, and then I can select this main shape as I'm moving here. Just show you what I'm selecting. This one, the main shape. Insert inside, and then you can draw. Uh, look multiple times. The highlight okay there we go and also i can add a, just a little bit on here in order to get, get a little bit of let's say a cylinder shape then you can make i will select this another brush this one the join uh, i like this because i can make and control the opacity over my brush uh, if i add this one or over here i can change the color all right look you can change the color a little bit and make this a little bit strong. There you go. Okay. And basically I can add another here just to have a contrast. A contrast of, let's say, a cylinder con uh, a contour. All right, can you see? Hope so. Okay, and another stuff that you can do, I want to show you right now. And I want to release, actually, for the Vectorize Club, okay, members the assets that it's gonna be about the eyes so basically I've just gathered let me just adjust here my panel uh, the assets panel I have here the eyes that I still need to export and send to the vectorized members I want to thanks mainly uh, look I want to thanks mainly the vectorized club uh, that support this these videos okay that's why I like always to give and send my contents to them and one thing that is very nice to show you is this one. Let me show you. And can you see my screen? All right. Let me show you. Right. I will just grab these eyes from here, the assets, and bring this onto here. <laughs> Look, we have tons of eyes already done. Okay, so you can just change here. Oh, I'm adding from the, the symbol. All right, I'm adding from the symbol, but you can just change here, look, and it's just amazing, really. You, you're gonna save a ton of time if, you, if you're doing this way. Let me just hide here this, this eyes, and basically this is the eyes that is from one of our lessons from the Vectober. Remember Vectober? I got all these eyes from the designs that I did, all the different eyes including the <laughs> this one here the frog eyes i could use this one and this will be available for the vectorized club okay so look my friends you can just use in this way we have a lot of them i can add this one and of course so for some of them you need to adjust the the shape for example this one you can see you can see right and uh, i'll make this out from the the symbol all right, this one, and I can apply it here, look. Can you see how you can switch easily the style just by changing the eyes? All right, it's just amazing. Tell me in the chat if you guys is ha are happy, you know, uh, with this nice thing. Also the mouth, I think I almost forgot about the mouth. I could, <laughs> I just got uh, as well the, the mouth from the Vectrober and I want to release to the club. You know, uh, let me show you. Can you see, I have a shadow here below. Of course, I can, um, let's say, group them together. I will group this. Ah, the, in case you are wondering where it's gonna be released, the, the assets, it's gonna be released on the Vectorize Club, okay, inside. I will show you later in the end of this live streaming. And let me apply here, this one just show you the difference that you can do 
apply here below okay it's fine now I have this the first one that I did and then I can add <laughs> the mouth rear <laughs> so look here my friend how nice it is I, I will change this, this right right now look I can apply this one it's just amazing and that's uh, why the lesson is about is about that you can change the art style and add life in your design easily okay <laughs> it's just fun my friends look uh, I'll apply here and uh, this is supposed to be the eyes bro so I need to change I love that one <laughs> it's so nice look. I love this one and I can add others ones this one here as well oh, look uh, it's my one I can add this one. <laughs> All right. See, so basically, this is what assets are about. You can change and save your time instead of drawing each element in all your project. I save a lot of my time during our project. I can handle with three projects, with three clients at the same time. Basically, you know, when I work, basically, because I have my own workflow and I'm showing you my techniques. I'm, this is not a secret at all, to be honest. 